Over the past few months, as part of a university project, I've been making a little Boyd simulation, inspired in part by an excellent video by Sebastian Lake. Plenty of people smarter than me have done cool things with Boyds on YouTube, but hopefully in this video, I can talk about some of the parts of the simulation I haven't really seen discussed elsewhere. But first, what is a Boyd? Boyd is short for Birdoid Object. The term was coined by Craig Reynolds in his paper on flocks, herds and schools. This paper describes a model that can be used to simulate natural behaviours, such as the defensive baitballing tactic of sardines, or the beautiful murmurations of starlings. I attempted to build a simulation based on this model in Unity. The basic Boyd model is made up of three behaviours, commonly referred to as separation, alignment and cohesion. I started with the separation behaviour, which stops the Boyds, which are represented by these triangles, from bumping into each other. I've highlighted one in red so it's easier to follow what they are doing. Each Boyd sends out a raycast to make sure the path ahead is clear. If it's not, then it will send out raycasts at increasing angles to find a clear path. This system required me to use Euler angles, so the raycasts are relative to the Boyd position and not the world normal. This was a bit overwhelming since I had dropped out of mechanical engineering before they started covering this crazy nonsense. The second behaviour, alignment, gets the boys to try and match the speed and direction of their nearby flockmates. This further reduces the chances of them bumping into each other and gets them to move in groups. Each boy creates a list of flockmates within a certain radius and collects each of their velocity vectors and averages them. Next is the cohesion behaviour. Similar to the alignment behaviour, except instead of calculating the average velocity of nearby flockmates, each Boyd finds the average position and tries to move towards that position. This mimics the real world behaviour of birds and fish, where they will try and move to the centre of their local group, where it's safest from predators. This is when the simulation starts to look really cool, as it starts to create these swirling patterns. The most important part of the design of this project is the pilot module. Since each behaviour generates its own vector, on which way it thinks the boy should go, a system needs to decide which way is best. I could always just average each of the behaviour's velocity vectors, but this would lead to the problem of if there was an obstacle directly in front of the boy and one behaviour said go left and the other said go right, the resultant average would be straight ahead. Instead, I designed a system which distributes chunks of the maximum total vector to each of the behaviours. Chunks are given out in order of priority, so if a collision is imminent, the separation behaviour gets full control. If the paths ahead are nice and clear, the other behaviours can start to have an effect. At this point, I got tired of looking at triangles, so I animated some nice sprites to go on top of the boids that make them look like sardines. I whipped this up by creating a simple sprite, and then using a skeletal mesh to animate it. I also added some ominous bright red tunas which occasionally spawn in to eat some of the sardines. But don't worry, there's an off-screen spawner that respawns them so the shoal always stays at the size you set it in the parameter menu. Just don't go any higher than 100 or else the Currently the simulation only runs on a couple of threads on the processor. As a result, there's a sharp drop off as the number of calculations per frame goes up exponentially with each additional void. The simulation would ideally utilise shaders, or the Unity Data Oriented Tech Stack to squeeze more performance out of the PC's processor and GPU. But for now, that's a little beyond the scope of this project. and. I'm not really smart enough to do that. A link to the project on itch.io and GitHub is available below if you want to play around with the simulation. If you want to see what other projects I'm up to, uh, I can't believe I'm saying this, subscribe to the channel and give me a follow on Twitter. But for now, thanks for watching.